we're going to fill up free little libraries today because i don't know i just feel like we should add a little bit more kindness back in the world so make sure you're subscribed because there's new videos every single day for all of december for bookmas and i hope you guys enjoy we are going to put some books into free little libraries i want to buy new books and put them in there um i also have some books from home um i just have like a few of them i'll go through these in a second but in my hometown, we do not have a bookstore that has new books, like literally at all other than Barnes. So I usually go to Barnes to get new books and I could put used books in there, but I found that like, it gives me joy knowing that the person who's getting that book is getting a brand new book. And I just like putting new books in there. I feel like for so long, I didn't have a lot of like I don't know, books of my own. Like I would go to the library and I'd use books a lot, which I think is incredible and I think it's an amazing resource. But I feel like if you're using a free library, like wouldn't it be so cool to just find something that's like brand new? I don't know, that's how I feel, but uh, I do put used books in there because some of these are used and then um, I do pick like new books too. So we're gonna go into the bookstore and see what we can find in there. The books that I'm putting in there, are these. I want to put in this little travel hacks book. I've read through this book and really loved it. It gave me a lot of good hacks for traveling. Like there's a bunch of different like questions here. Like if the taxi driver asks you if you're from around here, you should say yes because sometimes the tra they travel farther driving up the price for tourists. There are tons of good tri tips and they're all sectioned by like um, airplane or train or whatever and I think this is great for anyone who's wanting to travel. I've read through it and I feel like I've gotten my fill of it, which is meaning that it's time to go to someone else. I also am going to put The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls in there. I had this as a um, English book and maybe this is why I'm like burnt out on these like older books. I just read so many of these in college and I was not interested in them. Literally looking at it is making me yawn. Like, yeah, that's gotta go. Um, I also am putting this book in there as well. This is an older book. I don't ever actually think that I read this book. I bought it and I don't think I ended up reading it and I don't think that I will. Um, I was in like a South African literature uh, course and we had a lot of these books. So um, I'm also going to put The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Carr. I actually own this at home and this is my second copy that I literally bought for the book library because I think that someone would greatly benefit from these books, uh, from this book of poems. I feel like it's helped me so much. I'm also putting Hidden Figures in there and I think that this is a really great historical read. Um, I've never read this one but I'm not a really big historical like book person. Um, I don't think that I'll actually get to this and and so I'm gonna send it on to somewhere else. So that's going to. I'm also putting Stay With Me by Alexandria House in there. I actually bought the um, new cover of this book. I haven't read this one yet, but it's on my TBR and I bought the new cover. So I'm putting the book with the old cover in there. I also have two more brand new books. Um, this one is Mother Daughter Murder Night by Nina Simone. Um, this is in the Reese Witherspoon Book Club. I'm sending this on because I think that someone would love it and this also just came out. Has great accolades behind it. And then I'm also putting Starling House by Alex E. Hara in there um, and this is supposed to be kind of like a spooky read um, and these two literally just came out they're brand spanking new no one's read them or anything so I'm really excited to put these books in there but I do want to get a couple of brand new books to put in because I just think it's special you know don't don't kill my vibe okay just I think it's special for someone to be able to get brand new books in a free library so let's head into the bookstore and see what we can find I genuinely think this is the 
busiest barns I've ever been in in my entire life. So the fact that I'm even like talking right now is wild, but we're gonna do our best. There are so many good books in here that like just came out that I wanna show you guys. One of them is Game On by Cerecia Glass, and I've actually already ordered this um, from bookshop.com so I could like some support a independent bookstore. Um, I love her books. They're like a really fun book. I The first one I read was The Love Con, and I feel like she does a good job of making sure that she like creates characters that are like very unique. Um, like one of the girls in the Love Con, she this was the first one that she like came out with. Um, she has like a um, cosplay like design thing that she's really into, and she like goes into this competition. I really enjoyed it. It was very cute. But the other second one just came out. Let me show you guys the cover up close. So the cover up close is really pretty. This is what it looks like. Um, and this is the back. It says, when an unexpected player two enters her life, a gamer must decide if their relationship is worth leveling up. This just looks cute. Also, another author that came out with a book recently is Chloe Lee. And I think that these are actually re-releases because she came out with these books, but these just have different covers on them. So the first one is Only When It's Us. And this is in the Bergman Brothers um, like series. I think it's all about different brothers. And this one says, meet the Bergmans in this enemies to lovers new adult romance that tackles the vulnerability of love with humor and heart and then the other one that just was re-released is this one always only you and this one looks so cute honestly i'm like more drawn to this cover than i like this one but this is the first one so this is probably the one i'm gonna get it says it's an office romance on the ice rink in this heart melting story about love's power not in spite of difference but because of it and i think that's so cute so i think that i'm gonna get this one um i can't buy both because I haven't even read anything from this author yet but this one looks really good. I also own um, this book right here. This was one of the books that I bought whenever um, Brady took me to a bookstore in Chicago and I still haven't read it yet. This is the one that came out like actually this year and I think this one came out last year or maybe this one they both came out this year i'm not really sure but i know that these are re-releases with like new covers and i think that these just have like their regular covers and these just came out but i feel like maybe i should read these before i even like buy this one so i can figure out if i like it but some of my friends have actually said that this um author is really good and so many of you guys have also said that this author is really good so i don't know i trust you guys for sure i didn't really find that many books that i would want to buy when i was at the literary but here this barnes has such a diverse like i don't know um book selection like this book right here is a queer read and it's a book um, by a black author with black characters and they also have mickey chambers shakes it up here i think this has such like um I don't know like happy fluffy fun vibes and this is like what i'm looking for the other bookstore was more like highbrow type of books which i like but for a book um like library like a free one i want it to be like fun books um i also own this book and i have not read it yet but it looks so good it's about this girl who she can't like get a um job so she ends up being like a um, text worker and not like a sex worker she ends up literally being a text worker and she doesn't want to tell her friend um, that that's her job but I think she's like kind of interested in him so she's like keeping it a secret I don't know I thought it was cute so I ended up like, picking it up and this is another book that just came out that was also not in the other bookstore I did end up getting two books from the other bookstore but I feel like this has a more diverse selection which is what I wanted for whenever I put books into the book library I have a bunch of books in the basket already but I saw this one book over here and it looks really cute it's about this um pastry chef and it looks like like maybe he met this girl in culinary school or something i don't know i guess he's been like chasing after her and i don't know if she's like not interested or what but it looks really cute um the reviews are not like the best on goodreads but one of you guys actually said your bookish quirk is that you like reading books that don't have high like book reviews so Maybe this is the one for you. It like looks like a really cute read. I've got a big old book haul and I have spent so much money. Um, one thing that I'm realizing is that filling free little libraries with new books is expensive. It definitely is expensive, but I spent $224 in here. And then I also cut a bag from uh, the library or the bookstore that was an independent bookstore. 
And I got two books from in there, and I'm pretty sure that those were, I want to say, like $30 for both of them. Um, like $15 or $17 or something each. So we've spent, we're getting close to $300. But let me show you guys the books that I got. Um, I ended up getting Love and Other Words because I always get Love and Other Words whenever I fill up the bookstores. I feel like it just is the perfect book for someone who's like getting into reading and I feel like a lot of the books in the Free Little Libraries are not like fun books so I want to like add the fun pack into Free Little Libraries. I also got The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. I haven't read this book but I do love her books and they're really easy to read and I feel like they're super easy to like get into. Um, so I got that for hopefully new reader. I also got tons of books. I have to take all these out. I already took out the ones that I got for myself, which was only two, surprisingly, because I got so many. Let me see if I can like make a whole little stack of these. Guys, literally, look, I got so many books. This is wild. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. Um, I got Game On by Cerecia Glass. Um, I got this one for someone in the Free Little Library because I actually have one on the way for me. So I don't want to take this one, um, but it just was released and it looks so cute. It's like a gamer and um, like them falling in love. This uh, is by Alexa Martin. I got Next Door Nemesis. I actually like bought a ton of books by like black authors or just like underrepresented authors because I want their books to sell out in Barnes. I want their books to sell out everywhere. So um, yeah. I I'm hoping that this will be a good book that someone likes. It says two rival candidates for a homeowners association presidency are about to find out how dirty suburbanites fight in this steamy new romantic comedy. I recently bought this for myself and it looks so good. It also just came out. Then I got a book by Candy Ryan because this would not be a little like bookstore haul without something from her. This is part of the Bennett series and this is the first book called When You Are Mine. I've heard this is so good and it's less than uh, 300 pages. Then I got a uh, love redesign by Lauren Asher because I also I wanted to put some super popular books in there. I feel like a lot of the books that people put in free libraries are like the leftover books, the books that people don't care about, and I think that that sometimes can make a reader feel like leftover and like they're not cared about whenever they're reading books or trying to find books in free libraries. It's kind of like when people donate food. Sometimes they feel like people donate like the worst food. Um, and like the food that they wouldn't want to take home and like no one's donating like steaks, you know what I mean? And so I like want to donate the steaks, like the steaks of the book. So uh, I got that and then I also picked up Wait For You. This is a book that I really love by Jennifer Lynn Armantrout. I wanted to make sure I got some books that have covers that don't have like people on them in case someone didn't want to like read that. But I loved this book. It was so freaking good. And I actually immediately bought the rest of the series. But uh, the second book is still having like a read they're still redesigning the cover um so i haven't bought the second book yet but i honestly might buy it like it has people on the cover but i literally might buy it because they haven't changed the cover yet so maybe i'll just like buy it again when the new cover comes out um if they end up updating the cover i just am really excited to get back in that series i also picked up night shift and this says when a college bookworm and the campus basketball star share a sexy encounter in the library stacks things get complicated i've heard that this like blew up on tiktok or people are talking about it on tiktok and the cover so cute perfect for someone who like i don't know really isn't into reading i feel like you naturally gravitate towards the pink also got mickey chambers shakes it up let me take off this sticker literally right now because i do not want this on here when i'm dropping it into the free library because i feel like if it's hot out or something like this is gonna melt and then it's gonna get on the book <gasps> oh my gosh i don't know if it's even gonna come off wouldn't that be the worst i hate when that happens this was because i picked the first book I should have picked the book in the back. Okay, I got it. It literally started like, you know, when it'll start to pull and you're like, oh shoot, it's not going to come off. I literally thought it was not going to come off. This says two opposites, totally irresistible. Looks good to me. I also got play to win. When it comes to second chances, you gotta play to win. And that's what it says. Um, I actually own a lot of these books and also a lot of these books came out this year. So I wanted to buy some books by black authors that came out this year. 
I also picked up Cleek Cute and it says nothing sexier than playing hard and this is by Meryl Wilsner. Um, she wrote Mistakes Were Made and that is a very well-known like book. Um, it's also a queer read and people love her writing but I wanted to get this one because the cover I feel like draws you in a little bit more. Then I got a couple thrillers. I got The Last Thing He Told Me which I read in 24 hours. I loved this book um, and I thought that someone who's wanting to get into thrillers would also like this. And then I got The Coworker um, by Frieda McFadden. This is weird because this actually isn't a sticker. Um, it's like on the book and it says it's by like the author who wrote The Housemaid. Like we know, we're well aware. But I got both of these because um, I wanted to add in a thriller. And then obviously the two books that I showed you guys. I think I'm going to put these books into the little library by a school um, because I feel like kids when they're leaving school um, if they're walking past this and they like look in like I want them to see books that are in there and take them home so that is where I'm going to take these books and then after that I will show you guys what I ended up getting for myself. Not wasting any dreams this Christmas I've made my wish upon that star The only dream of which my list consists is To always be wherever you are this year there will be no praying for the snow to fall It would not make a difference to me at all No, I'm not wasting any dreams This Christmas I've made my wish and it came Denying I am as lucky as can be This year the wishing star has shone its light on me Alright you guys, I just dropped the books into the little library. So this library is literally right outside of a school that's on the east side and it is so like wild. Every time I come it is so empty and that just like goes to show that people are like reading which makes me so happy. I can actually see a girl who's literally in the box right now. Like you guys saw how empty it was before. I'm looking at it right now. She was in the book box and it looks like she grabbed two books. I hope that she grabbed one of the good ones. Not that they're not all good. Like you guys just know I have my favorites. Um, and also right next to the book library there's also like a free um like place for food and I think that's like really nice there's like cans of food and stuff and so she um is grabbing from that like right now too so I just think that that is a really sweet thing to have outside of a school um a high school especially like I feel like high school is such a hard time because so many people are looking at you like you're an adult but like you are not an adult like at all but you're trying to figure out life as if you're one and then once you get older like now that I'm 31 I'm like I was a baby in high school. Like, I was a child. I was a baby. Like, I feel like a child now, and I'm 30. So, anyway, just looking at that girl who was... It was literally as I was putting the books in, like, right after I walked away, she, like, scurried up, and she grabbed two books, and then she closed the, um, like, book thing, and then she opened it back up, and then she closed it again. I kind of want to see what she got. Should I go back and see what she got? Should I go back? 
I don't know, it's kind of like a little walk to get over there. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I just I just wanna see what she got. This is literally just me being nosy. I just wanna see what she took. Okay, so I can immediately see. Oh wait, she moved some around. Okay, I'm so confused now. Maybe I'll be able to figure it out whenever I show you guys. I can't figure out what she took just right off the front, but I think once I look back at the footage, I'll be able to tell. She moved like a couple books down here that were up top and it looked like she took one that was right here but I don't remember what was there. I'll look back on the footage and see which one she took. Um, I think like one of them was moved down but all right that's a little picture and hopefully I can figure out what it was. I'm back in the kitchen our favorite place I swear and I want to show you guys the books that I ended up getting. I have to show you guys pretty quickly because I am going to a dinner and I need to change, shower, do my makeup, hair, and all the things in like less than an hour. So we'll see if I actually leave on time. But um, the first book that I got, I ended up getting two books for myself. And the first book that I picked up was the So Not, was a book called So Not Meant To Be by Megan Quinn. I read one book by Megan Quinn and I really liked it. Sorry, Bane's like eating his food. And I actually bought the first book in the series. So this is about the Kane brothers. And it says, ha, friends with J.P. Kane. That's laughable. He firmly believes men and women can't be friends and work together, so it's safe to say Kelsey Gardner wants nothing to do with him. He's annoyingly loud, obnoxiously handsome, and has made an art out of pushing Kelsey's buttons all day, every day. No, thank you. So you can imagine how horrified Kelsey is when she not only has to fly out to San Francisco with J.P. for work, but also stay in the same penthouse during the trip. They'll be sharing the same air 24-7 as full-fledged working roommates, and being that close to JP is reading more like a nightmare. The man doesn't seem to know how to wear a shirt, thrives off protein bars, and is constantly flirting up a storm. Tap on his polished good looks, and Kelsey's suddenly staring down the barrel of a seductive temptation that makes it hard to sleep. But she can control herself. She's been doing it since she first met the guy, after all. Because if there's one thing she knows for certain, it's that she and J.P. Kane are so not meant to be. And again, I read something from this author before and really loved it. There was so much banter. There was a lot of spice in it, so definitely keep that in mind if you're picking up a book from Megan Quinn. Um, but I really enjoyed the first book that I read. So I ended up buying this one um, along with, I also own the first book in the series. And then I picked up Business or Pleasure by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And this says a ghostwriter and a struggling actor help each other on the on the page and in the bedroom in the steamy romantic comedy. Chandler Cohen has never felt more like the ghost in Ghost Rider than when she attends a signing for a book she wrote and the author doesn't even recognize her. The evening turns more promising when she meets a charming man at the bar and immediately connects with him. But when all of their sexual tension culminates into a spectacularly awkward hookup, she decides this is one night better off forgotten. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. Her next project is ghostwriting a memoir for Finn Walsh, a C-list actor best known for playing a lovable nerd on a cult classic werewolf show who now makes a living appearing at fan conventions across the country. Chandler knows him better from their one night stand of hilarious mishaps. Chandler is determined to keep their partnership as professional as possible, but when she admits to Finn that their night together wasn't as mind-blowing as he thought it was, he's distraught. He intrigues her enough that they strike a deal. When they're not working on his book, Chandler will school Finn in the art of satisfaction. As they grow closer both in and out of the bedroom, they must figure out which is more important, business or pleasure, and if there's a way for them to have both. This sounds cute. It's such a unique concept. So these are the two books that I picked up. I'm glad that I grabbed them. Also so glad that I filled up the little libraries. I'm gonna try to do that like once a month. Um, and I usually go to roughly the same places um, just because it brings me so much joy to fill up the libraries by school. So I always think about like when I was in high school and how books really like not even just high school because I guess I, I, I say high school but high school was hard for me but I feel like high school is like a hard time for a lot of people and books bring a lot of joy to people so I'm hoping that reading those books can like make somebody just it can make their day um and this is a writer to you go out and do something good even if you're not like able to fill up a full free little library maybe take something off your shelf that you've already read before like a really good book that you enjoy that you probably are not going to read again and maybe go put it in a free little library or wrap it up and give it as a gift to a friend um who maybe doesn't have like the funds to like 
you know, order a book or something, um, or even like write a letter to someone that you love and care about, like your mom or your dad or your siblings or something. I don't know. I feel like around Christmas time is when we think about doing good things for other people, but I feel like we should do that more often just like all throughout the year. So anyway, I got to get ready for dinner because I don't have much time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.